Tis the season for holiday rom-coms. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be talking about the newly released holiday rom-coms that you can read right now if you want to get into the festive spirit. I know personally I love reading holiday rom-coms around this time of year and I want to spread the holiday cheer. There are honestly so many holiday rom-coms out there and last year I actually did a video on holiday rom-coms that you guys should check out and that's kind of rounding up the most popular ones that have been released in the last few years so please go watch this and this one will focus more on the new releases for 2022. First, let's start off with one that I already read and loved, and this one is Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. This is an unlikely pairing of authors, but I loved this book so much. I listened to it on audiobook. Um, you can get it on Scribd, which is linked down below if you want 60 days free, but it was just absolutely amazing. Ex-boy band bad boy Nolan Shaw is trying to clean up his image and do a family-friendly holiday movie, but what they don't know is that the Hope Channel producer that is behind this is also the producer for the famous Uncle Ray Ray's porn studio. And Uncle Ray Ray, otherwise known as Teddy, is also trying to clean up his image and diversify his income streams. So when the sweetheart actress that was supposed to play opposite Nolan Shaw gets sick last minute, Teddy compiles his resources and decides to bring in B. Hobbs, otherwise known as Bianca Von Honey, to play across Nolan. B. Hobbs has a successful closed doors and porn career um, as Bianca Von Honey and she is a plus size sex positive porn icon. But she has always dreamed of being an actress so when Teddy calls her to be in this Christmas movie opposite the boy band member that she has always dreamed about, she hops on the chance to do so. So B. heads on a plane to go to Christmas Notch, Vermont in order to film this Christmas movie. However, Nolan is shocked when his new co-star arrives on set and it's his favorite porn star, Bianca Von Honey, that he will be acting across from. It was just so cute, so funny, very sex positive, um, had really great plus size rep, really great bi rep, and I just thought that this was like everything that I could want in a holiday rom-com and I cannot recommend it enough like I am absolutely obsessed I can definitely see myself rereading it in the future uh every like Christmas season so definitely please check this one out the next rom-com I have for you guys is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth I am in love with this cover Abby Keller thought that Richard Bartholomew Benson the third was going to be her forever after four years of dating she never doubted that she was going to end up with his grandmother's ring on her finger sure she had to change a bunch of things about herself to fit into his mold for her, but she was sure that it was going to be worth it. However, he leaves her devastated crying outside of his apartment in a Halloween costume because she's just not serious enough. And now that Richard has a shot of becoming partner at his law firm, he decides he just needs a serious woman. She does what every girl does when they get broken up with. Gets drunk, calls her friends, dyes her hair, and formulates a plan for revenge. And with that, Abby starts dating the founding partner of Richard's law firm, Damien Martinez, with one goal in mind, and that is to secure an invitation to the annual Christmas party. But when it becomes more than casual dating and Abby is starting to see the soft side of this tough New York City lawyer, can she continue on with her deceit? I've seen someone compare this to like a Christmas version of Legally Blonde, and that's really all that you need to sell me, so I will definitely, definitely be picking this one up. Next up is You're a Mean One, Matthew Prince by Timothy Janowski, and I absolutely love the play on words with The Grinch because that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. Bring a little joy into this world? Not today, Santa. Matthew Prince is young, rich, and thoroughly spoiled. Who cares if his parents don't pay attention to him and the media likes to make a spectacle out of his life? He's on top of the world but one media misstep later and he's being shipped off to his grandparents, small town, population, who cares? It's bad enough that he's stuck in a winter wonderland, but he has to share that space with Hector Martinez, an obnoxiously attractive local who could literally care less about anything that Matthew does. But even a Grinch can't resist 
a blossoming romance. Oh, this just looks so, so cute. I actually met Timothy Janowski at ALA and he is just a sweet bean and I am so excited to be able to support him and read his books. Next is The Christmas Clash by Suzanne Park. Who's naughty and who's nice at the Riverwood Mall? Chloe Kwan cannot stand Peter Lee. Their families have been in fierce competition because they have owned rival restaurants at the local Riverwood Mall. The Kwan's operating a Korean restaurant and the Lee's operating a Chinese restaurant. Now it's the holiday season and Chloe is the photographer at the mall's Santa Land while Peter is working the virtual reality at the mall's North Pole. It's all Chloe can do to ignore Peter's smug, handsome face. But right before Christmas, it's found out that the mall is slated to be demolished and excavated for condos and eviction notices are handed out right before the holiday season. Their parents don't know what to do and so Chloe and Peter work together to try and figure out a solution but it turns out that the Quan and the Lee feud might just go deeper than any of them know. I love a good like rival families, Christmas, I love like the nostalgic mall and especially like the, the Santa at the mall setting. I think this one's gonna be really really fun. Okay this one looks so cute and it is Season of Love by Helena Greer. Miriam Blum has a glittering art career where she has decoupaged all of her ducks in a row. However, devastating news forces her into an unwanted family reunion. It turns out that Miriam's great aunt, Cass, has passed away and left her as a part owner of Kerrigan's, the ironically Jewish-owned Christmas tree farm. But Miriam's plans to sit Shiva, avoid her parents, and put Kerrigan's in her rearview mirror are spoiled when she learns that the business is at risk of going under. And to have any chance of turning it around, she needs to work with the farm's grumpy manager. Noelle Northwood wants Miriam Blunt gone, even if she has genius ideas and a sensitive soul. But saving Kerrigan's requires trust, love, and risking it all for the chance to make their wildest dreams come true. Oh, this one looks so cute. It is a lesbian romance, and we have Jewish representation, but also it's on a Christmas tree farm, and I just feel like it's very, like, wholesome holiday season rom-com. And the tagline is, it's time to make the Yuletide gay. I just think that is fantastic. This next book is also set at a Christmas tree farm, which I absolutely love. And this one is There's Something About Mary by Cody Hall. Mary Winters has the holiday blues. She spent the last year learning to love herself and now she's ready to find the right guy. But there are slim pickings in Mistletoe, Idaho. And it's just her luck that the man that catches her eye is the grumpy new foreman at her family's Christmas tree farm. Too bad he wants to keep a 39 and a half foot pole in between them. Single dad, Clark Griffin, isn't looking for romance, but he wouldn't mind a friend to snuggle with on the cold winter nights. So he does what any modern man does and signs up for online dating. But he doesn't expect to connect with naughty girl 25 and get wrapped up in every message that she sends. But when Mary turns out to be his blind internet date, his surprise causes him to miss his chance under the mistletoe. Can a little Christmas magic give these two a second chance? It just sounds so cute. Oh my god, I'm just like filming this video. I'm so happy. The holidays and the holiday cheer and love, like, it's just making my heart warm. Next up is The Holiday Trap by Rowan Parrish, and this one is about two couples falling in love over the holiday season. Greta Rusakoff loves her small, tight knit family and hometown in Maine even if they don't always understand what it's like to be a lesbian. She desperately needs space to figure out who she is. Truman has just been crushed to pieces when he learns that his boyfriend of almost a year has a secret family, including a wife and children. Reeling from this discovery, all he needs is a wet place away from his home of New Orleans to figure out what he's going to do next. There are Greta and Truman's mutual friendship and Ramona, who facilitates a month-long house swap. For the holidays, each of them will have a chance to try a new life and maybe just maybe find love this one sounds so cute and adorable i love like the dual timelines as well as well as the mutual friendship and i'm interested to see where these characters journeys go okay this one seems so fun because it has a reality show element this book is all i want for christmas by maggie knox true love wasn't on their holiday wish list and sadie and max are selected as contestants on the singing reality show star maker they think that they have finally gotten their big breakout in nashville but when they are paired up in a duet competition, 
viewers are blown away by their on-stage chemistry and are trending hashtag sexy. So now they must remain a duet or be forced to exit the contest. Now they must fake a relationship until the Star Maker holiday special, which will be their last performance together. But one small problem, Sadie and Max cannot stand each other. But with their dreams, with just within reach, they agree to the ruse. Will their fake relationship be exposed before the end of the show? Or maybe there is a holiday trip that can spark some real feelings between the two singers. Oh, this one just sounds so adorable. Love the reality show singing competition aspect. And I think it's going to be so fun. This next one is the third installment in a very popular Christmas series and that is So This Is Christmas by Jenny Holiday, which is the third book in the A Princess for Christmas series. And it's Royal Christmas. I love the Royal Christmas trope so, so much. Teo Benz has spent his life being a royal advisor to the Eldovian crown. His work is his life and he doesn't really do much outside of that. He is then tasked to aid a management consultant that has become in to help train out the king's affairs and he's taken aback by her brash american ways as well as his inconvenient attraction to her brainy beauty cara delaney is in eldovia to help straighten up the king's financial affairs but she finds herself at odds with the very straight-laced mr benz and they must work together to restore eldovia to its former glory during the holiday season i just love christmas royalty romance ever since i watched a christmas prince on netflix i have been in search of a good royal christmas series and so i think i'm going to try reading this series next because it just sounds absolutely like so fun next is christmas at valentine inn by jennifer peel isabella valentine runs an inn with her sister where all of the rooms are named after famous couples you would think with the last name like valentine she was destined to find true love and a soulmate but izzy is not so sure that that exists when a man izzy thought that she would never see again walks into her inn with his two children and the memory of his dead wife she doesn't know what to do 20 years ago he gave her the best kiss of her life patrick and his family seem haunted by the memory of his dead wife so much so that he would rather skip christmas until he decides that he needs to play hero to izzy's sister's secret christmas eve wedding and by hero he pretends that the wedding is for him and izzy and now they have to act like they're the jolliest couple around so I love, it's like single dad, second chance romance, all of that. And it just sounds hilarious and cute and sign me up. Next is The Mistletoe Emotive by Chloe Lias. And I would consider this one almost like novella length because it is under 200 pages. And it's enemies to lovers holiday that work at a bookstore. Jonathan Frost and Gabriella Di Natale are enemies. And they both work at an independent bookstore known as Bailey's Bookshop. However, Bailey's Bookshop is facing some financial strain and Jonathan and Gabriella realize that one of them will soon be cut from the payroll and so they go on a competition to make the most sales in December. They embark on a game to try and one-up each other in their book sales but Gabby just might discover a softer side to Jonathan than she ever knew. Also, I just want to point out that this book is Own Voices for a portrayal of autism by an autistic author. This one sounds so cute. I love the bookstore in Christmas setting and it just sounds adorable and it sounds like it'll be a really quick read as well. I absolutely love the cover for this one and this is Snowden with the Player by Rebecca Jensak. And again, this is a novella. It's only 117 pages, so you should be able to breeze right through it. It was supposed to be just a weekend of holiday cheer. Holly was going to watch holiday movies with her sister, bake cookies, and just have an overall cozy Christmas time. However, her brother shows up with half the football team, including Teddy, her brother's best friend and her secret crush, and she just might get snowed in with him alone. It sounds super steamy and fun and cute and holiday themed and just everything that I'm looking for in a holiday novella. Okay guys, that is all that I have for you today. There are literally so many more that I could talk about, but I won't even have time. I'll be here for hours if I go through all of the new holiday rom-com releases that I found on my search. So I tried to narrow it down to the top ones, but like there are so, so many good ones out there. Um, I mean, you can just go to Barnes & Noble. They have like a bunch of Christmas books out or you can look on the Amazon top lists 
in like holiday romances and you can find a bunch more that way if you are looking for more and again also check out my video from last year on like the top holiday rom-coms that have been around for a while and let me know if you are excited for any of these releases down below and like what you will be reading this holiday season and i hope that i could spread some holiday cheer have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one